In the starting of my blog, I'd been contemplating the last 10 or so years I've spent on So Suave. Every time I consider the things I've written for the community, I always need to put them into the perspective of where I've come from and what I've learned in that time. I reviewed a single mommy story in another forum thread, one that I learned from almost 20 years prior. I also go into how things were before the advent of the internet occasionally. I think it's really hard for a generation of young men to fully appreciate the progress that guys in their mid-30s, mid-40s, and even 50s have made in their respective times. It's hard for mid-20s and teenage guys to relate to a time before the level of communication we take for granted today. There was no term for an AFC, beta, or herb in 1995. There was no term for an AFC, beta, or herb in 1995. I didn't own a cell phone until 2002 and never texted anyone regularly until 2005. When guys in their 30s and 40s now were learning the lessons I relate in this book and on my blog, there were no forums, no PUAs, formerly anyway, and the phenomenon we call feminization and the matrix was at the peak of its influence by virtue alone of no one questioning, let alone being aware of, its influence. We lacked the male-to-male -male social communication, certainly the global communication, to really bring common experiences together and form ideas from those observations. We were in the dark. Remember, no internet and the How to Pick Up Girls books were what losers ordered by mail from an ad they saw in the back of a Hustler magazine. In fact, porn was only accessible by renting it from the back room of a VHS rental store, by magazine, or pirating the Spice Channel from cable. Good times. Now let's, now let's flash forward to 2013. Now let's flash forward to 2015. Now let's flash forward to now. I can't go a day without having Viagra or porn solicited to me in my email. Porn is now part of the utilities. It's like hot and cold running water. But moreover, so is the collected experience of literally a world of men considering the same nagging questions. Thanks to globalized, instant communications, a new generation of men can collectively consider experiences and observations that were previously left unsaid. Where before there was a stigma of not being men enough, just in asking questions and seeking relevant advice about women. Now it's been replaced by the community. The internet is to men what the sexual revolution was for women. The genie is now out of the bottle. And for better or worse, the information is liberating. 